Virtual queue. Fast pass. Ah, good morning. Um, last day. It's seven o'clock. I'm just finishing up packing and tidying and stuff. My suitcase is 18 kilos. Um, I got bored in group 75 for Cosmic Rewind, so unless that comes forward drastically, it's currently saying three o'clock. Um, I need to leave the park at two. So I don't really want to be getting in line for it any later than one in case I get stuck or it breaks down or anything. Um, so I might have a quick look at the individual lightning lanes when the park opens at half eight. Um, but yeah, I tried, doesn't look like it's gonna work. I got a lightning lane for Frozen for 8.45, so um, I can just start doing my lightning lanes um, and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna go check out now and Drive to Epcot. My room. Light. Here we go. Oh. Okay, let's go get this stuff in the car. Look at that beautiful sunrise for the last morning. So it's about 10 to 8. It's a little bit early. Um, it's going to be a busy day because I'm about eight rows further back than I have been the other mornings I've got here at this time. It disappears in the grey sky. Poor boy. It's gonna be a busy day. Look how deep the crowd is already. Crazy. No free stuff, seriously? This is good. I'm liking this. It's dropped an hour. Five minutes early. So me and three other people are going to story. I just can't be doing it with the crowds or the crush and everything. I'll go and see what merch is available later. I haven't seen anything that I desperately want, so I'm not desperate to get in line. I'll go have a look later. Virtual Q, please use the My Disney Experience app um, for request the assistance of a cast member. I just got a lightning lane for Cosmic parts. Rewind for 9.25. I don't know how I did that. Um, so yeah, I will do that and then I don't need to worry about my boarding group. If it comes up before I leave and I liked it and it didn't make me feel ill, I'll do it again. Um, if my boarding group doesn't come up before I need to leave, happy days. <laughs> There we go. So I'm an idiot and I didn't press continue. So thankfully there was still some left at midday. So I got one for then. Hello and welcome to Soren. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. That's worth pal. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Yeah, have a nice one. Okay, don't do what I did. Pick a lightning lane and then not pay for it. Because you don't get the time. Thankfully, I managed to get one at midday. But right, I'm going to go and get this cake now for breakfast. Because I can. A nice, balanced, well-rounded breakfast. Welcome to Living with the Land. 
The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. How will we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. Okay, here we go. afternoon anyway so um special pets got up to 15 so I'm going to do that now before it goes any higher and I'm going to do the seas mission space test track um hopefully then frozen will be working again I'll use my anytime lightning lane I haven't used any lightning lanes yet um because it'll give me the opportunity to ride stuff in a couple months uh, but yeah I want to do everything in world check it in future world and then I'll go around to do Mexico, hopefully Norway, eat some food. 11 o'clock is the thing in me, Bob. 
Um, are open early. Good morning folks, welcome aboard. We're making our way over to Morocco. And in Morocco is the only port of call we're going to and then we come right back here to Canada. That's all we do, go back and forth like this. Until about 7.30 tonight, this is when we have to get off the lagoon here because the fireworks crew comes on and gets ready for tonight's uh, fireworks, which is at 9 o'clock. So this is like the event entrance. All these people have a pass to get in. I don't even know why they advertise it. If there's not going to be enough space for standby, why do they even put it on the park map? Please welcome to the stage, Mariachi Comrade. <laughs>
celebration. Again, we are Mariachi Cobre, and might as well uh, introduce the show as we do pretty much every show and share with our guests that uh, Mariachi Cobre has been probably a part of the Disney, Walt Disney family. Now, what's today? 40 years, 40th anniversary. Yeah. Of course, we, uh, we wouldn't be here again, and I, and I mentioned this all the time. We wouldn't be here one day if it wasn't for our wonderful guests that come and, and, and attend our shows and attend here at Walt Disney World. So, thank you, thank you so much for all those 40 wonderful years. And also, uh, among the, uh, the group, uh, we have two members that were here on day one. Well, I don't know, applause for Israel Molina. <laughs>
refer to ourselves as a worldwide family united by our possibilities. We truly believe that our cast members are the heart and soul of everything that we do. In fact, today, we have cast members that helped open up Epcot 40 years ago and help create and make what Epcot is today. Please join me in a round of applause for these very special cast members. Here at Epcot, our cast literally come from around the world to share their stories. They have forged international friendships for the past four decades. And I know that our guests have come to appreciate just how special that is. So whether this is your first visit here to Epcot, or you can't remember the number of times that you had the opportunity to travel around World Showcase, we are so grateful that you are here and please know that you are welcome here at Epcot. I might be a little bit biased, but I truly believe Epcot is unique. There is not a theme park in the world that is like it. And we have something for everyone. So whether you want to go and understand what it takes to grow food at the Land Pavilion, or you're being adventurous and you want to save the galaxy, we're Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind, we have something for you. So here's to Epcot's 40th anniversary and another 40 years of possibilities. At this time, morning boots on Guardians of the Well, a year ago today, we kicked off the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World Resort at Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Mexico, get some aircon, and then probably my 